Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 61st part of what if Deku was a magical girl mascot, quirk, magical girl mascot, the author of this great fan FIC is Emma Ivoli links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 61, Crazy Blood Sucker Attacks They looked at the crazy girl impersonating the Shiketsu students. Achiko was glaring at her the harshest. Though none of them could blame her, the two did fight during the camp, so of course she would be upset with the blonde villain. Oh you want to have some Achiko? Asked Toga with a twisted smile. Achiko punched the villain. Don't call me that muttered Achiko. I heard about your date. Said Toga. Achiko blared at Toga. Before Achiko could do anything Katsuki punched Toga in the face. I get it. Yelled Katsuki, you're pissed off at her for everything involving Deku's kidnapping. Achiko looked at Katsuki unsure what to say. Besides I want to kick her ass too. Said Katsuki with a grin. I believe we all do. Muttered Shoto. The three glared at Toga. However that was when they noticed something, something that made Izuku, Shoto, and Inesa blush bright red. Then Izuku reverted to his animal form. Damn it Deku! Yelled Katsuki. This only made Achiko madder at the girl. What is going on over there? Asked Toru. IT was clear among all of them they could feel a ton of anger and embarrassment. She's naked. Mentally yelling Katsuki. I hate her. Mentally Achiko. Why are you even embarrassed I see hot? Asked Katsuki. I'm not used to seeing a naked girl that's not myself. Thought Shoto. Is backup almost here? Asked Izuku, because I think we need backup now. We will not be there for about another minute please hang on. Thought Tenya. Just co cover your eyes Deku. Thought Katsuki. That was when suddenly Toga went flying into a nearby. What? Asked Izuku. I did that. Said Achiko for the sake of Anesa. I think. Her anger is heightening her abilities. Thought Izuku. That makes sense. Thought Katsuki. Wow you're really strong. I'm going to guess it's because you love him so much. Said Toga, along with your magical girl abilities. I was really hoping to be one too. This only made Achiko blare at the villain even. Come on. Turn back to normal. Pouted Toga realizing that Izuku was in his animal form. Izuku remembered why she was there. No. Said Izuku. What? Asked Toga. You want my blood for something but you don't want my animal form's blood which is what you have and only what you have. Said Izuku. Toga pouted. Oh come on. Just turn back. Said Toga slash. Achiko summoned her wand and turned on the gravity on her. She was clearly unable to move. Then Shoto froze her to the ground. You're lucky that I don't want to hurt you too much. Muttered Achiko. That was when a few pro heroes showed up along with Tenya, Suyu, and Toru. Thankfully the pro heroes were informed of Toga nudity and mentally prepared for it. Achiko picked up Izuku who still wasn't up to turning back human, but knew he would have to soon. The seven UA students plus Anesa were brought to talk to Mara. I'm sorry but I have to say this, but you have to keep quiet about this. He said with a yawn. What? Yelled both Katsuki and Anesa. Calm down. Said Mara. Why the fuck should I calm down? Muttered Katsuki. My schoolmate is missing. Yelled Anesa. She tried to hurt my boyfriend. Growled Achiko. She tried to steal my blood for some reasons, and we don't know why. Said Izuku. I know, but we can't afford to shut down the exam. Said Mara, we put too much work into this. We will let the Shiketsu students know after the exam is over. But after almost losing all might we need to complete this today. The stu students were quiet about this. If you wish to drop out said Mara to the group that had been involved the fight. 
Fuck you, said Katsuki. Kaken cried Izuku. Look I'm not dropping out, said Katsuki. I will remain in the exam as well, said Shoto. I will too, said Izuku. Same, sighed Achiko. I will continue to take the exam, said Anesa. The other three weren't really involved expect for experiencing the emotions. All right then, said Mara. They all left the room where the meeting was happening and headed back to the holding room for students. I don't like this, muttered Anesa. Well what are we going to do? Said Tsuyu. Look we all want our licenses and this is the shit we have to deal with in the future. I don't like it, but fuck. Muttered Katsuki. Let's just hope that the next exam can distract us. Said Achiko. Also she didn't get any of my blood. Said Izuku, so there's a plus right there. Meanwhile Toga was in a temper holding cell, given some clothes to wear as well, unfortunately none of them knew that she had something on her to use in case things went south. She used the small device in Kirojiri's warp gates appeared in the cell and got her out of there. She appeared in their shading place. You got caught? Asked Shigaraki. They came up with a plan during the battle section. I missed my own chance. Said Toga. Seriously so you decided to just give yourself up? Asked Shigaraki. IT was either that or fail. Said Toga. One day you're going to have to try the blood samples we already have. Muttered Shigaraki, I don't know if it'd work but you have to try it. Fine. Muttered Toga. Can this day get possible any worse? Asked Shigaraki scratching his neck. Who wants to bet that game he's looking forward to is getting delayed? Dobby rolling his eyes. A few of the other members of the league chuckled. Shigaraki growled, partially out of the fact that that was a pretty funny line but there was no way that was going to let them know that. Back in the holding room, the UA students joined their classmates, with Anesa tagging along. I don't want to be near my schoolmates right now. Said Anesa. He does have a point about waiting to tell them. Admitted Tenya. Inesa looked at her. I meant that from the perceptive of making them worry. She explained. Inesa sighed knowing that the speed-based magical girl had a point. Hopefully whatever the exam is we can use something to punch. Said Katsuki. So what's going on? Asked Kaminari. A cover-up. Said Tsuyu. Seriously? Asked Siro. It does make some sense, I don't think they'd able to hold another one on such short notice. Said Momo. Sounds like a dick move though. Muttered Mineta. Mara got to the stage to present the next part of the exam. The UA students were ready for despite the attack. They could only that they would be able to pass this. As well as hope that Kami was still alive. She wasn't thankfully okay. But still, right now the license exam, was more important and it was what they had to focus on, even with the attack. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed if you did please leave a like and comment if you want part 62. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.